right, welcome to Marine Max Houston. My name is Skip Pillsbury. I'd like to take you on a quick tour of this 2024 Boston Whaler 380 Outrage. This boat's powered by a twin Mercury 600 V12 uh, outboards, which is an amazing package on this boat. Uh, nice option having uh, two motors hanging off the back, makes it a lot less maintenance. Um, this boat can go up to uh, quad 400s if you like as well. As we kind of walk into the rear cockpit area, we've got a fish box on the port and starboard side. Both these boxes do have freezer plates uh, in the fish boxes, so it makes it really nice to keep your fish uh, or your catch nice and cold and uh, fresh all day long. We've got a big bench seat located here in the transom. Easy access just folds right away into the back here, opens up this big area here. We've got a uh, base for two tables, uh, we, two very nice teak tables that'll pop up uh, in the rear cockpit for entertaining and hanging out. Uh, or kind of just getting getting the day going. Uh, we've also got our freshwater engine flush located here underneath the gunnel. So water hose ties into the transom area, push a button, and it'll cycle through and flush both of the outboard engines. Over here, we've got our leaning post, which this is a great workstation. We've got plenty of places for tools, leader hangers, place to hang hooks. We've also got a grill located on this on the port side here. So really making those days out on the water a lot of fun and kind of extend the day, uh, depending on what you want to do, whether fishing or cruising. We've also got storage for tackle trays, tools, or kind of whatever you have back here. It's a great area to keep everything you need to get out on the water and uh, make it a full day. We've also got a freshwater sink. And then as we kind of work our way forward, we kind of move forward towards the uh, bow of the boat, big wide gunnels all the way forward. You'll notice that we've got trolling seats located uh, on the port and starboard side. So it makes it really nice, you know, if you want to get under the sun and watch the rods uh, as you're out, you know, fishing or just make some really nice extra seating under the T-top. Big open area in the bow of the boat. We've got a huge sun lounge located on the front side of the console. Great storage underneath. For extra coolers, buckets, kind of whatever else you maybe bring out on the boat with you. We've also got great seating in the bow of the boat. These cushions are removable, so if you start fishing, get these out of the way. The table will raise and lower with the push of a button. Located here on the starboard side, backrest drops right down. And then we've got another fish box in the floor and then storage underneath the, the seats as well. And that's one thing we did also do on this boat. We've kind of accented with the black paint on the radar, the FLIR and the uh, anchor light to kind of follow the theme and the colors of the boat. We'll work our way down the uh, this side. You'll notice that we've got one more trolling seat that pops right out of the gunnel. And then we'll work our way around to the helm, which we've got three very nice large bolsters. Room, pull down armrest. So it really makes it comfortable when you're running out on the water, even in rough seas. We've got our uh, new style Mercury control box for the uh, twin 600 Verados, which gives us a nice digital readout on the screen, joystick control, and we've got our two 16 inch Simrad displays, uh, multifunction displays, really nice flush mounted into the, the matching glass dash. You see the flares on here, air conditioning vents on the top side. As we work our way down into the cabin, We've got a really nice layout down here, rod storage, the dinette. We've got a table here, which this will convert into a dinette just with the flip of a cushion. Large, enclosed, uh, stand-up head. Then we've got a sink located over on this side, and then a microwave on the top side of the galley. My name is Skip Pillsbury. I'd like to thank you again for taking a tour of this Boston Whaler 380 Outrage located in Houston, Texas.